Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will talk about the Linux architecture and understand about the kernel and the shell. First of all, let us see what is a kernel. A kernel is a computer program that is the core of a computer's operating system. There are so many Linux distributions out there, but there is only one thing that they have in common, which is the Linux kernel. The kernel's job is to talk to the hardware and software and to manage the system's resources as best as possible. It talks to the hardware via the drivers that are included the kernel or additionally installed. This way, when an application wants to do something, it can just submit the request to the kernel and the kernel can use the drivers to perform that operation. Next, let us see what is a shell. The shell is nothing more than application that accepts human readable commands from the user and converts them into something which kernel can understand. It is a command language interpreter that executes commands read from input devices such as keyboards or from files. The shell gets started when the user logs in or starts the terminal. To access a shell, we have two options. Either we can use a command line shell or a graphical shell. A command line shell is the one you must have used on Windows and that is the CMD or the command prompt. It is called a terminal in Linux. We type a command on the terminal and the result is then displayed on the terminal itself. A graphical shell is something which we use in a Windows operating system. User do not need to type in command for every action. The command line interface is always more powerful than the graphical user interface. Working with multiple files is very easy in a command line interface. Another reason command line interface is important is that there will always be a command line. Most server based Linux distributions do not have a graphical interface. Desktop distributions have both GUIs and command line interface, for example, the Ubuntu. There are several shells available for Linux systems like Bash, C shell, and Con shell. Each shell does the same job but understand different commands and provide different built in functions. The bash is the most widely used shell in Linux systems. It is used as default login shell in Linux systems. The C shell's syntax and usage are very similar to the C programming language. The con shell was the base for the POSIX shell standard specifications. The bond shell is the oldest because it is the oldest and most primitive it is not used on many systems today. An, an enhanced version of the bond shell called Bash is used in Linux. You can always switch among the shells and on switching it forms a relationship between the shells. The C shell received its name from the fact that its command was supposed to look like C statements. A compatible version of C shell called TCSH is used in Linux. The con shell is the newest and the most powerful one. When you move from one shell to another, Unix remembers the path you followed by creating a parent-child relationship. Your login shell is always the most senior shell in the relationship. Let us assume that your login shell is the con shell. If you then move to the bash shell, the con shell becomes the parent and bash shell is the child. 
Next, let us learn about the command prompt. When you start a shell, it will display a prompt or a short message. In this example, you can see the date, time, name of the user and distribution. At the end of the prompt, you can see a dollar sign which indicates that you are a normal account user. In contrast, if you see a hash sign, it indicates that you are a super user who has access to everything. Normal users can only do some of the things that the super user can do. The default prompt on the bash shell contains the name of the user, the name of the computer and the name of the current directory. The tilde is a shortcut way of representing the home directory. We will learn about the directory system in the upcoming video tutorials. That's all for this video. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.